me go put my makeup on. Ready? Let's get ready. <laughs> Wait, what do you think? <laughs> so bad. Always offbeat. Hi, everybody. Welcome back to my page, How Miss Express Tutorials. If this is your first time here, then we're just figuring it out one video at a time. So today is another special episode of Make Me Pretty. I have my bae here. Hello, everyone. This is Gabby. <laughs> She is my beautiful, beautiful friend. Look how gorgeous she looks today. Literally like the hair, the makeup, I'm in love right now. I've been friends with Gabby for a very long time and Gabby used to make me pretty all the time. I like literally just never used to do my makeup apparently, my own makeup. And I would just force Gabby to do my makeup like I would lay on the bed. <laughs> or take off your makeup as well. Hashtag relationship goals. Find the one that will take off your makeup when you're asleep. She would slay my makeup all the time. Here are some photos showing that and our friendship. Okay, great. Also during this video, I'm gonna just be randomly drinking water because I need to be hydrated and I just have not really drank any water today. So just FYI on that. Let's get started. I'm gonna go sit down in a comfy chair and she's gonna go put my makeup on. Ready, let's get ready. Wait, what do you think? <laughs> so bad. Always offbeat. Kind of. <laughs> my hair is up. My water is drank. We are ready to get started. I had a really fun shopping spree over the week at Sephora. So I bought a couple of different foundations because as we know, I always oompa loompa myself. It's better than making yourself a ghost like I apparently did today. <laughs> what we have to do today is swatch the foundations on my cheek, which I just explained to Gabby because she wasn't 100% sure. And I don't know if I'm really supposed to be doing that in these videos because she's just supposed to be doing it. So honestly, none of them might work. I don't know, I am a little bit tan. I don't know if you guys can tell. I have been going to the beach a little bit. Yeah, Gabby definitely makes me feel tanner. We're gonna try that out. Um, I, we literally just took the plastic off of the boxes. Okay, so first we have the Pat McGrath Labs. The packaging is so cute. It says skin fetish, that sounds so risque. Oh yeah, so <laughs> the foundation is called Skin Fetish Sublime Perfection Foundation. And I got it in the color Light 2. This is the bottle really blurry, I apologize, but like super freaking classy. Gabby has bets that this is gonna be the one. She likes this one the best. I don't know if she's actually even looked at the other ones, but here. It just, it looks so luxurious. She has faith. <laughs> oh, I was not expecting this. It's a, it's a pumpy one. It's even more luxurious. All right, you men might end up as pale as me with this one. Maybe I won't be using any new foundations today. Next, we have the Stay Naked Weightless <laughs> Foundation. Weightless Liquid Foundation. And I know Jeffree Star just did a video on this. I chose 20 CP, which is Cool Master Tone and Pink Undertones. I know I have pink undertones. This is, this is the one I think is going to be it. Another pump bottle. Oh, another pumpy. That one is better, much better. That one's not as phantom-like. <laughs> what do we think? Is my ring light too bright? And last but not least, Huda Beauty. And I chose Vanilla 120B. Let's see if this is more of a me shade or a Gabby shade. I think that one may actually be the best one. Yes, because I think this one's too dark. This one's definitely way too pale. And this one might just be just, just right. right. <laughs> <laughs> All right, I'm gonna go look at this in an actual mirror and not a camera and see how I feel about it. Since we've chosen our foundation, I think we're gonna go with the Huda Beauty, yes? Yes. Was that the one that you thought was gonna work the best? Let's put it on my face. <laughs> you, you take over now. All right, so we are starting with the Huda Beauty foundation in vanilla. It's one of my favorite flavors, so. Same Z's. I only use minerals, so this is gonna be quite the journey. Wow, this is, uh, this is different. <laughs> I don't know if anybody else out there prefers mineral, but might not be the only one. Can you get full coverage with mineral? I would say so. Gabby's kind of using a rubbing motion. <laughs> a light dab to rub. If we can just make it past the foundation, 
this will all work out. Yeah, what is the part that you are like most nervous about and what's the part that you're most excited about? Most nervous about? Most nervous. Most <laughs> nervous. Just speaking, apparently. I feel that. <laughs> um, honestly, at least right now, it's really this foundation. I'm most excited for the eyes, though. She used to be able to make my eyeliner look so perfect. Like, she could give me that wing that was like, cut bit wing. Ooh. All right, I think maybe like, once like we contour a little bit, I'll look a little bit less ghostly, maybe? Well, you know that's I what can't. I'm, I'm best at, making people look like a ghost. Now, yeah. that's a little light. <laughs> We can blend it with, with one of my Oompa Loompa foundations. Can we, can we ever have it all? It's uh, the ultimate trust exercise right here. Okay, do you want to do anything to like set the foundation? Probably should. Mercier. Oh, that must be French. Next, I'm using the Laura Mercier. 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 I took Spanish in high school, not French. Translucent loose setting powder. Do you need me to hold it? I'm just anxious. I don't want you to drop it. <laughs> I um, I think I got it. I think I got it. Can I hold one thing? Please? Yes. Okay. Well, this is going a lot better than the foundation part. Blotting out all of my sweat. Yeah, it is pretty uh, toasty in here. Yeah, it's still, it's still summer. It's still summer and it's still probably 80 degrees outside. So next, I'm using the Benefit Cheek Parade to contour. Fan favorite. And I am using Hula. I'm getting her Gabby germs all over my brush. That's why we have an immune system, right? Mm. <laughs> yeah, but I don't have health insurance. <laughs> <laughs> Moving on. I'm using the Tarte Amazonian Clay 12 Hour Blush in the color Exposed. Why are the names of makeup just so sexual? Like, yeah, yeah, like sexual, like the sex sells. All right, big smile. Like you're happy I'm here. While Gabby gets ready to do my highlight, I'm gonna show you a clip from my last Make Me Pretty video with Covel. Do not bake for like more than eight because that pot, it will just be like that. It's just gonna stay. And then you're gonna look like you're a ghost. We don't want that, or do we? I'll creep up on all the guys that have been ghosting me like, what up bitches? I'm gonna put the link down below so that you can watch the whole video. We are using the Wet n Wild highlighter. It's a loose highlighting powder in the shade Written in the Stars. This is actually mine. This is like one of my favorite things. I also really find astrology interesting. To be quite honest, that's probably 99% of the reason I even bought this. <laughs> We are starting with brows. We're using the Make Me Brow by Essence, and it's in the color Brownie Brows. Brownies are cookies. Which one's better? Brownies. Agreed. They have to be moist, though. I'm really excited. This is probably the thing I'm most excited for. I'm using the Burn Book palette, Mean Girls. This is from Storybook Cosmetics, if you would like to get your own. I will be using the shade. I'm honestly just winging this, so. I'm she told me she had a plan. So I'm gonna start with the color Regina George. Were you a Regina George? I was definitely not a Regina George. Were you the hot dog girl? Wasn't the hot dog girl. Next, I'm using the color The Plastics. Little brightening highlight going. And that is a bright ass white. Not as pale white as me though. Or me right now. Go right underneath her brow. So I'm curious as to if you're giving me a smoky look, because every time that we, like she, she would say, do you want a more natural look or a dramatic look? And I would say, what do you think? I want you to be surprised. I know. Oh, I forgot, I need to drink water. Keep going. Drink water. We are using the Kali Cosmetics Palette, pressed powder eyeshadow, and I think I'm going to use the color amethyst yes amethyst so i'm just working this amethyst color into her crease i personally love it when vic wears purple or has purple eyeshadow because she has hazel eyes and it really brings out the green we are going to use the color purple smoke always looking out for me always has hair falling off of her like literally tomorrow i'll just be walking and be like I have blonde hair on me. I must have hung out with you. 
heavy. And once again, just working this into the crease. Going back to the Burn Book palette, I'm going to use October 3rd. And I'm just taking it and I'm just gonna go in a crease, but I'm not gonna go the whole way, just kind of the outer crease. So next, I'm going back to the Kylie Pressed Powder Eyeshadow Palette. The purple palette. The purple palette. And I'm using this light purple lilac. Your eyeshadows are way more pigmented than I'm used to. It's awesome, but then sometimes you're like, oh no, it's gonna take like five minutes to blend out. <laughs> yes, it's uh, uncharted territory. <laughs> so now I'm just going to blend these a little bit because they are kind of a hot mess. <laughs> Nothing wrong with a little blend. Next, I'm using the, is this NYX? Or do people say NYX? I don't actually know. Honestly, I'm not sure. We could make a poll about it. So I'm using the NYX Professional Makeup Liquid Eyeliner. Oh, it's in jet black. This is honestly my favorite part. The end, and just kind of wing it up to start. And then we just kind of drag it along the lash line. Yeah. And just cleaning it up on the ends here, just to make it a little smoother, a little less patchy. I'm just extending the wing out, trying to even it out a little bit. So Victoria likes the really dramatic false lashes. I am not um, about that like keen on that. I will be using false lashes, but they're a little more natural. So I'm using the Wet n Wild um, Shutter Shock eyelashes. They're pretty, I would say pretty natural looking. And I have never applied false lashes on anybody except for myself. So we'll see how this goes. Oh, and cool, it comes with blue. Gabby bought new false eyelashes. Like these are not hers, we're not sharing false eyelashes. It's a good way to get pink eye. I am just taking the glue here, which I did not measure them to her eye, nor did I actually open the glue. <laughs> It's a hot mess life over here. It's hot mess. You just become a hot mess. Like That's why we're so close, actually. Right? Like, the second you step in the door, it's like, oh! I need to take these lashes and fit them to her eye. That is really important. We finally cut all the glue and <laughs> yeah. figured out all the things. Hot mess express tip. If you're using fake lashes, make sure the glue is open. So she has very big, beautiful eyes. So I only have to trim it a little bit. Also, another tip, make sure if you trim them, you do it so they match, so they're not uneven. And especially if you trim it this way, because I have made that mistake before. So how does this foundation look? Do I still look ghostly right now? The honest truth? Yeah. Less ghostly, but still ghostly. You kind of got like the Morticia Adams going on right now. So giving it a few seconds to tack up here. So I'm just starting in the middle and just applying right to her lash line. The best I can at least. They're on? It is not on. Oh, okay. I was like, <laughs> I was like these are like weightless. They are pretty thin, which is what I was going for. It is not on right here. So you just kind of gently press it. It does not want to cooperate. Okay, I'm just gonna let this dry a minute. We'll fix that in a moment. All right, other eye. Bam. And we're gonna come back. Okay. Yes. Okay. We did it. So next I'm using, I love glitter, so I had to. Um, the Urban Decay Heavy Metal Glitter Eyeliner. And it is in the shade Cackle. Once again, give it a little sparkle. So I love this, but guess what? Can I do this again? The lash did not hold. Damn it. I'm comfortable with this though. It might just have to be Slightly. Do you have eyeliner there? Yes. Okay. Then it'll be fine. No, I'm not this. <laughs> it's okay. Hot mess, right? Whatever. I'm just taking this brush that we didn't use, and I'm just kind of blending this area right here. With 
feel like kind of got some makeup like all over her nose. So you can always use the makeup wipes. All right, so now I'm using a makeup wipe and I'm just going in here. I realized that I did use that brush for the black. <laughs> and I'm just taking this wonderful beauty blender that I'm so skilled with and I'm just gonna reapply some of the foundation. Finally, we are getting to lips and I'm using the Kylie Matte Liquid Lipstick and this is the color Penelope. These also smell amazing. Okay, so actually open your mouth a little bit. A gape. A gape? If you really wanna play a fun game with your friends, look down at the floor, don't look at each other, and then open your mouth slightly, a gape, and then look back up at each other. It's just like, try not to laugh. It won't work. Ready? <laughs> okay, open your mouth a little more, a little more gape. Now it's just gaping. Cobra, cobra. <laughs> So I just went with a uh, pale pink because I didn't want to do anything too bold because I already went so bold with her eyes. It's all, it's all levels of experience, right? Mm -hmm. So finally, lastly, I'm using this Coco by Kylie Cosmetics gloss because her matte lipstick is super uneven. My fault. In the color Damn Gina. Grouped in her face. <laughs> ah! So Gabby and I have this thing where we don't like being touched, like right here. It's probably one of the most uncomfortable places to be touched. That's why you gotta be. Ah! <laughs> so this is the final look. How do we feel about it? We all know that this this shade is a little bit lighter than my face. Maybe it could be my winter shade, but you know we just went with it. Could be my summer shade. So this is the final look. I think that we're just gonna we're gonna take these off. Yeah, that was a uh, that was a failure. It's okay. <laughs> it's okay. And you've never applied them on anybody, so like no. Never. It, yeah, so like, first time trial or, you know, it's just on camera. But she's wearing fake lashes and like, they look great. So we know that she can at least do them on herself and then with practice, she can do them on me. So what are we calling this look? What is this look called? Purple disaster. Purple disaster, <laughs> I like it. If you like these videos, the Make Me Pretty episodes, then you can subscribe to me so that you can see more of them. Like this video specifically, comment down below um, as well as share with a friend. Also, you can subscribe to me on social media. That's Snapchat, Twitter, and Instagram. And our Hot Mess Express tip of the day is hit it, Gabby. Always be prepared. As prepared as you can for uh, being a hot mess. <laughs> All right, guys. I hope to see you guys in the next one. Bye.